Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In today's lesson we're going to start a new course on advanced charting applications with an overview of the basic features of the Pro Real Time Charting Package for the stock, futures, and foreign exchange markets. So let's get started. Okay, so if you haven't done so already, the first thing that you're going to want to do is click the link above this video which is going to take you to uh, the registration page. You can click right here where it says free access. And you're going to want to fill out the information here and then click sign up and you'll be sent an email where you can log in to the uh, website which will launch the Pro Real Time launch page which is what you see on your screen here. Uh, once you've done that, there's two versions of the package that they offer, the simplified version and the complete version. Um, everything that we do is going to be on the complete version, so you're going to want to click to launch that. And if you don't have Java installed, it'll prompt you to install that, but most, uh, most people have Java installed, so you shouldn't have a problem there. Okay, and this is what you should see when you first log in, which is the default template uh, chart of the Dow, a list of the foreign exchange market, and a uh, a chart of the euro dollar. And you, you're going to see on mine the uh, the rates are updating because I have the real time feed. But for the end of day data free uh, package, uh, those aren't going to be updating, obviously. So what we're going to want to do here is expand out the uh, euro dollar chart by clicking the maximize button there which will bring the chart full screen and the first thing that you're going to see is all these lines all over the chart which is uh, there's a pattern recognition uh, software built into the chart uh, but for now we're going to take those off just by clicking these two buttons up here at the top okay and we're also going to take off the Bollinger Band study uh, delete Bollinger there just right click and then select delete Bollinger from the drop down menu and then we're going to take out the two indicators that they have there so that just leaves us with a nice clean chart now for me personally I prefer to have the candlesticks um, white and black uh, white for the up candlestick which basically you just what I did there was I right clicked select settings price from the drop down menu candlestick up just left click on that select white select OK there candlestick down left click on that select the black color select OK there and to me that's just a cleaner looking chart but you know whatever you prefer is fine there and that's you know one of the great things about the package is everything's pretty customizable so you can make it uh, you know however you want and then close there okay um, there's two places where you can uh, do everything from from a main menu standpoint and one is this little pro real-time window here but and when you have the charts minimized this is where you would do it from but it's easier for me to do everything all the same features are here on the chart when you have it maximized okay so first let's just simply add a trend line you can left click on the trend line button there and then select the starting point for the trend line and then how far down you want it to go there okay and then once you have it set where you want it left click again and that will stick the trend line if you want to delete it you just right click on it you can move it move it around or if you want you can delete it okay so pretty easy there um, horizontal trend lines here do it just the same way put on as many as you want and then right click to delete delete all draw all and objects this time takes them off the chart to add an indicator you just click the indicator button and you can see the list of all of the indicators that you have here okay let's select the MACD see that there and you can see here again you can customize all of the colors and what periods you want the moving average to be and all those good things select close there and I'm going to shrink this down say you have some support and resistance lines on the chart that you want to save so that it'll launch next time with the lines that you've put in saved on the chart and the indicator there 
So what you would do is minimize the chart here again, and then you can select templates, save, and I've got mine listed here, but let's just do and enter, and then that will be there in your templates uh, for the next time that you log in. And you can also make templates out of multiple charts and things such as that, which is what we're going to look at in our next lesson. As always, if there's any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and good luck with your trading.